the sunshine and the day Good morning everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, thank you so much for tuning in. As you can see, I've got a little bit of glam on, a little bit of tan, a little bit of glam. Um, I thought that for this week's What I Eat In A Day, I'll do more of a, like, a realistic, like, what I'm eating because not everybody works at home, not everybody has the time to kind of just make all the meals, so I'm actually planning on going out today with Demi, um, we're going to Durham for a bit. She wasn't feeling what too well this morning, so that might be cancelled. Um, but I thought it might be a good idea to just sort of show you how I make healthier options or healthier selections whilst I'm out and about as well. Um, so yeah, but it is currently half past nine. I also just, is this lens like blurry? What's happening? There we go. I also just wanted to show you quickly, right? I've just been to Sainsbury's this morning and purchased, you can't even see them because the sun, let me... Let me close the blinds a bit. These trousers have to be the comfiest trousers I think I've ever, ever worn. And they're so pretty. They're from Sainsbury's and I think they're about £16. They do have like this little frilly bit at the bottom which I really like. Um, so this is like my outfit for today. Love it. I actually love it. I'm in love with this colour. I've got like a green shirt in this colour as well and I just think this emerald colour is just like so pretty. Yeah, and they fit like a dream. They're like, they're like quite stretchy like sort of pants. Um, but yeah, obsessed. I'm obsessed. my breakfast just a plain and simple boiled egg on toast i put these in for 10 minutes um i did <laughs> i ended up going and trying another dress on just for pure and i just wanted to try it on um i think uh, basically i think me and demi are taking maybe a couple of outfits with us to durham we might as well get some pictures whilst we're there in different outfits so um that's what we're doing i've just packed a little a little bag um so I'm going to quickly have my breakfast and then I'll go and pick up Demi. So me and Demi are in, what's it called? The flat white kitchen. Flat white kitchen. It's Demi put on her Instagram yesterday, didn't you? Asking where we should go and loads of people suggested here. It's so cute outside. I'll pop a little picture of that I took before. Um, but we just made my order and I'm not going to lie, there wasn't that much like healthy, healthy options on there. Yeah. Yeah, because I've, yeah, I've gone for the grilled cheese and chorizo and Demi, what have you got? I went for the um, grilled tofu. I think it's a similar dish to yours, but the yeah. vegan version. Yeah. yeah, so yeah. Should be nice. Should be, yeah. So, I mean, loads of people have recommended it, so... Yes, and then what, I got, what did I get for drink? Oh, like a pink lemonade. Pink lemonade, I'm obsessed what? with at the minute. Are you? Yeah, because Lucas Aid do a, like a pink Lucas Aid oh, can. <laughs> I've run out of my cans of pink Lucas Aid, fuming, and I, I can't get them anywhere else. My food's just come. How good does that look? Unreal. And then this is Demi's. Looks so good. Yes. Demi, um, we're all done. Sorry, I didn't get much in Durham. Um, we did take a few nice outfit pics. Um, as you can see, I've changed into this absolutely stunning dress from uh, this is from Sainsbury's. Like, TU. What is it called? Two. TU at Sainsbury's. 
so nice it's like a like a long kind of midi length like floaty dress you know my style um and it's just this gorgeous like pink and red color i just absolutely absolutely obsessed with it um so yeah so i've got we've got some of those and we were gonna go on those um do you know the boats <laughs> so basically in durham there's a uh, river that goes through and they've got the rowing boat and we were gonna go on there and um for a bit but then i think we both got a little bit scared because we realized that neither of us could row very well um and like if i lost control then we wouldn't be able to take over so we ended up not going on there we did go for that gorgeous lunch though um that was really really nice um i w i thought that menus were supposed to have calories on them but they, d they didn't or maybe it's just not coming come in yet do you know what i mean um but yeah so it's like 10 past three now i'm just heading home i might take my makeup off because i'm going to zumba tonight so um i'm going to take my makeup off i think because i don't know what it is but i hate working out with makeup on it makes me feel like really dirty i don't know if that makes sense but yeah so i'm going to take my makeup off i've got some editing to do this afternoon which is what it is <laughs> um and yes is that all i've got to do today zumba yeah editing i think that's about it um i'll have a little look at what photos we managed to get um and then edit some of them when i say edit with photos like i don't edit my photos in terms of like i don't fiddle around with the shape and size of me sometimes i just like maybe enhance the colors a bit because do you know when you look through a camera and it just doesn't look the same um so i might like I don't know make the pink on my dress look a bit brighter and um more kind of as it is now whereas i think on the photos they just look a little bit dull um i might actually show you so i might pop up on either side of before and after photo of how i edit them so you can see kind of what the difference is because i kind of feel like when people say that they edit photos oh you can't see me <laughs> i kind of feel like when people say when they edit photos people automatically assume that they, they like get rid of like they get rid of blemishes and they like make themselves look skinnier or something but i don't i don't really i don't know how to do it and if i even attempted it i think i'd be caught out pretty straight like straight away because like i, I don't think i'd manage to do it without like do you know when you see them photos and all the lines are all wavy because people have like edited them weirdly um but yeah so i might edit some of them photos um i did film like a little bit of a reel this morning um just popped in when i found this dress i popped in and i and sainsbury's at the minute are on it with their fashion with like um for like spring summer i'm like obsessed i've, I've very very nearly bought loads of it but i didn't um I had to stop myself so yes anyway heading home now um gonna like i say do some editing take my makeup off just yeah i have a feeling that billy's been waiting for us on the windowsill let me have a look where is he <laughs> hi billy <laughs> why can't i see you there you go hey how are you doing peekaboo <sighs> Sorry I disturbed you. Right, so just got changed for Zumba. Let me get the, um, where have I put it? I've lost the little stand I put you on. Hang on, there we go. Let me pop you on here. So, a while ago on a weekly vlog, I did a little Primark gym wear haul and these leggings that I'm wearing now, you can't see it because you're too high up. We're in Primark, but they didn't have them in my size. And they've just got them. And I bought I bought them the other day. And they've got a pocket there. Fantastic. And they're actually, like, quite decently high-waisted. I realise that my head's not in here. I am still here. Hello. Um, but, yeah, I like them. I like them. They're nice and bright. I feel like everybody at Zumba like dresses really brightly and then there's me and like my grey leggings or my black leggings and I'm like God, I need to brighten up a bit so I've got my bright leggings um ready to go I'll let you know what they're like once I'm done obviously it's like five o'clock I'm still way too early but I'm like procrastinating against editing so I'm like oh 
I'll uh, go get changed, I'll fill my water bottle up, I'll take my makeup off. Yeah, gotta do some work, Jess. Otherwise, I don't get paid. I've finished um, Zumba now. I've received some intel from um, Heather on Facebook. If you guys have been following me on Instagram, you'll know that I have run out of pink lemonade. Well, pink Lucasade. It's the pink Lucasade Zero cans, not the bottles, the cans. I've got like a strange addiction to them. I, I did go a little while without them because I just thought, you know, I don't need them. And then I bought another box. And then I realised that they were very slowly being really difficult to find. Anyway, I've been thought, I've been sent a, a photograph of it in in this Lidl. My saviour. I wouldn't I'd never have gone to Lidl to look for them. But thank you, Heather. I'm going to go and have a look for them now. Oh, fuck them. Oh my god. I just get the whole thing. Yeah. Right, back from Lidl now. I ended up getting <laughs> one of these big four boxes because they're, they're in like wrap. You can't just buy one box. I ended up buying four and I scanned it and it went through. It was like £1.70 something and I was like, it's only scanned for one box, but I can't, I don't know how to scan the other boxes because it's asked me to put one in the, one in the, um, bag an area and then scan the rest but you can't do that when they're all wrapped up together so I put it on the thing and then it was like this weighs too much and someone came and was like um how many of these have you got and I was like four he was like all right okay I'll have to add the manual I was like well if you put them like if you'd stacked them correctly then like it would have been fine you know instead of just leaving them in the wrapper but anyway it's not a big deal I'm gonna drink them anyway aren't I it's not like I'm, they're gonna go to waste so I've got them um so I've got 24 cans of Pink Lucasade. I think that will last me a while. And I'll, I'll drink them sparing, sparingly, knowing that... Or, or with the mindset that I might not get them again. So I'll drink them, like, maybe it's, like, every other day. Or maybe it's one... Well, if I've got 24, I could... I've got, like, a month's worth there, haven't I? So, well, 24 days' worth. But, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to have some tea now because... I always find that when I go to Zumba, I always have my tea later. Because Zumba's half six or half seven... And it's like 20 past eight now. So now I always wind up having my tea like later on, later on. But I'm actually so super freaking excited for this one because I know what I'm and I know what I'm gonna make. I tried it the other day and fantastic, fantastic. Okay, so I've just got out a chicken breast and then I've got an egg, some parmesan, and some golden breadcrumbs from Paxo. So basically, I'm going to be making like a parmesan crusted chicken. And um, so I've got some bowls out here. I'm going to crack and whisk and uh, crack and just make uh, whisk an egg into probably that one. And then I'm just going to weigh out some parmesan and weigh out some. Uh, some breadcrumbs and then I'm just going to alternate dipping the chicken in them so I essentially have the chicken I'll probably dip it in the egg first then dip it in the breadcrumbs then no I've done this wrong I've realized I've done this wrong why have I done it this way ignore everything you've just heard I'm going to mix the breadcrumbs and the parmesan into one mixture that would make a lot more sense wouldn't it Jess I was thinking I can't remember doing that last time anyway so it's going to be dip an egg Dip in this mixture, then dip an egg, dip it, and carry on until um, until you've got none of the like breadcrumbs left. So I've just popped uh, my oven on 200 degrees, ready to go, and yeah, let's get cracking. <laughs> Slow 
completely open and honest. I was going to stick some veg on there. And then I thought, you know what it is? I can't, I don't want veg tonight. <laughs> um, so yeah, we've just gone for a few chips instead. Uh, these are just like home cooked ones um, in the actor fry. And then this is my Parmesan chicken. Good evening. So I've had my tea now. Um, I'm pretty much ready for bed. I'm ready to get back on it. Do you know what? Does anyone else get that feeling? Do you know when you feel like you've had a bit of a meh day with your food? Like you haven't been the healthiest and you just feel a bit mm, and and then you're like, I will start it tomorrow. And then tomorrow comes and then it's like, mm. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I feel like I'm going in that cycle at the minute where, where I, at the moment, because I've not eaten like... Because I've not eaten, like, it's not necessarily that I've been off plan either. Like, I I knew what was coming. So it's not like I've just, it's not like I've overeaten. It's not like I've, like, I think it's just the fact that I've eaten out today. And, like, I didn't have any veg on my tea, which is fine. But I'm like, I feel like I need to get back on it tomorrow. Even though I'm probably not that far off it. So... Yeah, anyway, um, I'm going to head up to bed soon. I seem to have some kind of rash forming on my neck. I'm not quite sure what's happened here. I feel like I'm having a little bit of a reaction to my fake tan. Or it might be eczema, actually. That's a lie. I think it's probably eczema because I, I suffer with eczema on my inner arms. And then sometimes I get it there as well. I feel like that's possibly what's just happening. So, yes. Anyway, I am just going to end this video here. I hope that you have enjoyed it. If you have, then please give it a thumbs up. Go hit the subscribe button below. And if you want to be notified for when I do upload next, then hit the bell as well. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.